We're back on the road again. It's yep. been two months sitting with Lauren yep. and Harper. It was tough to leave, man. It was tough. That was, uh, that was a lot rougher than I thought. <laughs> Met up with them last night, had some dinner, and they went to get some ice cream. And and she was cranky. She was cranky. She was upset. I think she could sense we were leaving. that her pop pop was leaving. <laughs> oh my God. Every time I held her, she would cry. So uh, she was like, my pop pop is leaving. <laughs> that's what, in my mind, that's what she was saying in her mind. She's just so sad to see her pop pop. Oh, and her Mimi too. Thanks. <laughs> she didn't cry when you held her. So she was like, she I'm going to really miss bad. my pop pop really bad. That's not what it was. Yeah. Maybe it was give me back to my Mimi. I don't know. <laughs> you got your version, I got mine. We're on our way back to Missouri. Yep. We're going to be there for a couple weeks. My hometown. Poplar Bluff, we call it the Bluff. The Bluff. And we have some exciting news once we get there. I, I'm not going to share it here, but we have some very exciting news once we get there. Well, we made it to my hometown, Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Yep. And we told you we would have some exciting news when we got here, and we do. <laughs> we were projecting that we would have exciting news, and yeah. we're glad that we do, because <laughs> yeah. it did happen. So I'm going to go show you what I'm talking about real quick, and then I'll come back in here, and we'll talk to Leslie and see how she feels about it. Okay. All right, let's go. All right. So, one of my goals when we first started doing this YouTube thing was to pass the population of my hometown with number of subscribers that we have. And so I wanted to come out here and show you the sign of my hometown in Poplar Bluff, which is now 17,023. And now, check this out. <laughs> so we made it and we wanna say thank you so much to everybody who has contributed and subscribed and keep watching us. And uh, it's very exciting. We about two years ago passed the population of the town that I was born in, and now we just passed the population of where I'm from. All right, what do you think about it? I'm very happy for you. Bigger than the bluff, baby. <laughs> Here's what I think. Oh God. You wanna know what I think? Not really. Here's what I think. <laughs> I think that the city of Poplar Bluff should erect a sign right next to the population sign that says, welcome to Poplar Bluff childhood home of Dustin, of the Wayward Wags. And I'm confident that for a small <laughs> fee, that could probably happen. I just wanted to say erect yeah. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It was my window. It, you can't pass up an opportunity. To be per perverted? It's not perverted. Erect. <laughs> oh, they should erect a sign. I wonder how many times I could say erect. Let's not find out. <laughs> Let's just not. We're there, man. Yeah. We have spent the last 10 weeks with family. Yes. We had two months with Lauren in Alabama. And then we just did two weeks in Poplar Bluff, Missouri with my family. And so this whole time that you've been watching us go across Branson and Uranus and St. Louis and the Bourbon Trail and all that stuff, we've actually been hanging out with family. Yeah. But we just filmed enough to where there would be enough to get us through that. Yeah. Now we're in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And as you can see behind Leslie, if you look at the, the view behind Leslie, we are backed up right to Lake Hamilton. Yes. Beautiful view for Scout. Yes. He's digging it already. He's very happy right now. You can tell because his beard is white, even though he turned away from me because he saw the camera. But his beard's white, so he's a happy boy. And he's just kind of chilling, looking out at the, at the water. Let me take you outside and show you the rest. Oh man, walk out our door and look at this. Right on the uh, on the little canal here on Lake Hamilton. Lake Hamilton is actually out there, way out there. They're just in one of the channels. See a little uh, pontoon boat out there. But yeah, this is our spot, man. We're gonna have a little bit of road noise because the road's right there. But hey, we got fried chicken. <laughs> we got fried chicken right there. So we're in, we're in decent shape. And look at this. We, I mean, we got afternoon shade on this side of the RV. Yeah. 
and so we can sit out here on the dock and but you got to be careful it looks like because we got some situations happening here so i don't know how stable the dock is maybe I, don't walk on the dock so I much on it already. did you well did. you weigh a lot less than me too <laughs> so i might Not go much. through it you know <laughs> no, but right. we're right next to the to the boat ramp launch right here so we'll be able to launch our kayaks cruise the canal hang out and we got the inflatable kayaks we'll have to take you on a on a kayak ride with us yeah. while we're here it looks pretty calm in the canal i think we'll be fine out here just canoeing yeah, around so. kayaking around yeah. whatever we're doing well we're at hot springs national park yes it's different than i envisioned <laughs> because it's in the center of town it's right downtown <laughs> it's the according to what we read anyway the smallest and the oldest, oldest. national park and yeah. Everywhere around town, there's like these little fountains that are spring fed. Spring fed, and so you can get fresh spring water as you're walking. So some of the bathhouses are still usable. You can make an appointment and go use it. Yeah, which is cool. So no need to carry bottled water around with you as you walk around Hot Springs National Park. Just grab a sip. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be hot. <laughs> oh my god. So maybe um maybe bring a bottle to fill up and then put it in the fridge because <laughs> drinking hot water straight out of the ground is not not good. It's hot springs for a reason. Yeah, but I was just I, for some reason I was expecting it to be cold water. I don't know why. It's hot springs. Oh that was hilarious. Durr. Durr. <laughs> Leslie will be our tour guide for the duration of the day. Oh, uh, that's not good. Your cruise director. Where are we headed, cruise director? Apparently the Grand Promenade. Isn't that this big building behind us? It's a scenic walk to Fountain Street. Okay. 30 minute walk. So this purple line, I guess, is the promenade, the Grand Promenade Maybe. Trail. Yes. Leads you up behind Bathhouse Row. This one, this thermal fountain, is what you tried drinking out of. Oh, okay. It's a thermal fountain. It's a thermal fountain. Yeah. Yeah, I should have read that before I tried to drink that. <laughs> That's a no-go. All right, so we're going we're gonna to follow this all the way up. Okay. Cool? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. This is why it's called the Grand Promenade. It's very grand. It's very grand. It's nice. It is. I like it. Shaded? Yeah. Yeah. We got little places you can play checkers if you bring your checkers or chess set. Oh, look at this. We're just walking along this trail. I mean, look over here. And out the side of the hill, water's coming out. You can see the steam coming out. So that's, that's warm water. Just coming right out of the side of the hill there. Is it warm? Yeah. It was hot? Yeah. Yeah, that's hot. So cool. Very hot. Just comes right out of the side of the hill. All right, so I'll tell you this, that... Um, Hot Springs National Park is a national park, and you are prohibited from filming for commercial use in national parks. So you can't make money off of it. So you'll notice while you're watching this video, there are no ads, there are no sponsors, or nothing like that. We demonetize this video so we can still bring it to you without running into legal issues on YouTube with the national park system. So if you're gonna go through national park and you're gonna share it with everybody on YouTube, Make sure you turn the monetization off because if you make any money commercially, I think come get you. We started here, we walked all the way up that trail, all the way to here, and now we're gonna come back on the street side and walk down all in front of all the bathhouses. Well now we're on bathhouse row, that's what that is behind us, all the way down there. Bunch of bathhouses. Yeah, you can still go in a couple of them, but not like it used to be. These were used by like professional athletes, baseball players, rich people. Rich. To come and soak in the bay in the in the hot springs and well, I think I've read on the sign that they they were heavy drinkers back then. Yeah. And they they were convinced that the hot water killed all the impurities <laughs> in their body and all the heavy drinking. Sorry about the traffic noise. We were really literally downtown Hot Springs, but this is the original entrance to Hot Springs National Park. Used to be a big structure up there, but the wooden parts of it rotted out and they took it down. So it looked way more glamorous back in the uh, in the heyday of the Hot Springs National Park. But it's a really cool entrance still, but it's no longer the actual 
entrance of the National Park anymore. It's just so cool, these little fountains. You can see the steam coming off of these things, man. Yeah. Golly. Ooh, I can feel it from here. Yeah? yeah. Feel the heat? Yeah. Oh, well, we just learned some new stuff. Yes. The temperature of this water coming out of the hot springs is 134 degrees. Yeah. And I got on the Google machine, <laughs> and the Google machine told me that the average temperature of a hot tub is between 100 and 102 degrees. So this is like 30 degrees hotter than a hot tub. Yeah. That's hot. That's hot. And That's we incredible. also learned that there are 47 springs, springs in the park. In the park. Yeah. And for being such a little park, that's a lot of springs. 1,300 pounds of minerals run through this water. And so it's got to have some of kind of a therapeutic, medicinal healing something. properties. Yeah. 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 I believe in all that stuff. I, I think that stuff works. Well, the only way to test it out, I guess, is to get totally shit faced drunk tonight and then come back tomorrow and soak in the tubs and see if it works. Uh, no, that's not how it works. I'm prepared to do it for science. <laughs> for science. <laughs> this is one of the original bathtubs. And if you go next door to one of the bathhouses still open, this is the actual bathtubs they still use. So they're pretty deep. I just don't know how long you can sit in that hot water. I don't know either. We're lost. We're very lost. Trying to get to the tower. We just had lunch at the Superior Brewery. Brewery. And we had beer, which is brewed with the hot spring water. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we have brats, yeah. which are good. Yeah. And we had pretzel. We're very, very, very impressive. I that think this just pass. goes back down to the thing. I think we're lost. We may need to go back to the car and just drive. I feel like we're lost. Signage is not great. No, signage here, not not good. All right, I think we're on the right track now. Think so? We're on the peak trail. It's like pretty high elevation though. There's a deer. Where? Oh, hey. Oh, she's right. So. Are you okay? Fat girl out of shape. I'm out of breath, man. Way out of shape. Oh, Lord. It says we're about halfway. We chose to not go back to the car. <laughs> We chose to just walk up a mountain trail and see if see if it's the right spot. Hopefully it is. Yes. Yes. I see an elevator. There's an elevator. We don't gotta use the stairs. Ha. Now we know. We could have if we would have gone back to the car. We we there's plenty of parking. Yeah. We feared that all the parking would be gone. Yeah. And so We'd be stuck up here with this big truck, nowhere to park, but plenty of parking. It's a nice breeze. All right, this is really cool. So you can see that's the Arlington Hotel. And then over here, you walk down into downtown Hot Springs. A little parking garage right there is where we're parked. And then this over here is Bathhouse Row, where we just hung out, and that's where we ate now the brewery and um, you can see the airport way over there and you can see I think you can see over in this way through those trees you can see a little pieces of Lake Hamilton which is right where we're staying at right on the lake it was $11 to ride up on the elevator ten, ten or I think it's 10 with your pass there's tax added yeah if you have the National Parks Pass and you get it for $10 and if you don't, I don't know what the regular price is because we didn't even ask. I think it was 13 or 14. Yeah, but you, there's no admission to the actual national park. Yeah. So it's really the only thing that we paid all day. And you don't have to come from the tower. So you really could come here for free, for free all day and hang yeah. out. But, I mean, just for us coming up to the tower and going to lunch, and we spent maybe 40 bucks today total. Yeah. And, yeah, I full day of exploring for 40 bucks. Anyway. Pretty good. Yeah, she would have spent that on Amazon sit on the couch so ma matter of fact it might have been a cheaper day for us to come out here yeah probably was <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just on the top the third level this is the second level so it's it's contained inside with glass but it also has like little facts about hot springs national park about the hot springs about the tower so you can go all the way around and read all this stuff 
or you can even use the little thing to zoom in and see what's going on down in the city. So if you come up here, make sure you go to both levels. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? You tired? A little. It's getting warmer out, isn't it? It's warmer now. Yeah, it's warmer now. The walk out is like 60 degrees, but uh, if you do enough of this pumping, you get warm. It's only been like four minutes though. Oh, this country club or event center or whatever it is is over here and it has this personal little island that goes all the way out here there's a little walkway there's little benches as you come out here and then there's at the very end out here there's a seating area like a circular seating area back there where you can sit and right at the end of the thing and look out onto the lake and uh it's very nice and leslie's over here taking in the <laughs> the scenes and taking some pictures so She's probably going to share those on Facebook and Instagram. So if you're not following us on Facebook and Instagram, you want to see the pictures from out here on the lake. And she's taking a picture of me now. Uh. <laughs> so look for that over on Facebook and Instagram. Oh, we're going uh, under the uh, under the highway now. And look at all these look like dirt dauber nests up here. That's crazy. That's a lot of dirt daubers, man. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all those guys. All the way across there. That is pretty cool. There's the dominoes right there next to the water. The road's right there. The highway's right there. So you can go in and get your Domino's pizza. Or if you're on a boat, you can dock right here and there's a little blue sign. You probably can't read it on here, but it says, um, call this number for a dockside pickup or check-in so you can order your pizza pull up on your boat pick up your pizza and haul back out of here or you could I guess just sit there on your boat and eat it if you want to that's how I like the kayak yeah with a Domino's pizza if we'd have known that we might have ordered a pizza but we brought food with us so we're gonna we, we'll eat our lunch out here but if we had known that we might have ordered like a little pizza and just picked it up dockside that would have been cool <laughs> look at those feet ha <laughs> it looks like I'm still wearing socks <laughs> you see this? Yeah, I, yeah. I win. Astronauts in outer space can see them right now. <laughs> I win for the whitest feet contest. It's just rolled up on this creepy ass old dock building. Well, it's the only place there's shade, so it's lunchtime, so we're gonna sit here and in the creepy creepiness of this place and yeah eat some lunch okay well today for lunch we're having lunchables <laughs> yeah i got the turkey on american with the reese cup and a capri sun leslie chose cheddar turkey and cheddar turkey and cheddar Wait. i'm gonna stick with my american you know why because i'm american <laughs> that's why cheddar is better <laughs> But what I wanted to tell you really quickly about these kayaks, these are, we just got these on Amazon. They're called Itiwit, I-T-I-W-I-T. -I -I and um, we found these online. These are like the inflatable, but they're the very durable. It's like that, it's like that material that the Coast Guard uses for their inflatable rafts. So it's not gonna get like, you know, a twig that goes through it or a rock that goes through it. They're very, very durable. And there's three different compartments in this thing. Each side is its own compartment and then the bottom is its own compartment. And then the seat inflates too. So it's really, really comfortable. I've been in kayaks before. Like I think we went to Crystal River. We went to that, like that um, plastic clear bottom kayak. And man, when I got out of that thing, I could barely walk just because of, I have nerve pain in my leg. But these are really, really comfortable. And these are, these are two person kayaks, but we got two of them. We like to be in our own, but if we're ever with friends who don't have kayaks, then we can be in one kayak and we can share a kayak with them. We got extra life preservers and we got extra oars so that we can uh, so we can go out with friends even if they don't have kayaks. And they fold up really small. They go into this backpack, They're easy to store. They don't weigh a lot. Uh, we don't have a code or anything. Uh, we bought these on Amazon, but we will leave a link down in the description if you want to go and check out these kayaks. Uh, we've used them several times now, and they've always been really great. We've already been out here for you know over an hour now, and no issues. I feel no pain, and uh, I could probably sit out here for for a couple more hours, no problem at all. Hey, are you all right? Yeah. Tired? My arms don't work. <laughs> <laughs> There is there. I'm drifting. I, drifting. I don't even care. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. It was nice knowing okay, you. Okay, bye. Bye. Good luck. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.